by three quarters. Hit me. One, twenty-three, and four. Smoking into the final turn. This is the plan. Cover Bridge took the high road. And he shows up in second, following up on that move. Roll with the flow in play. An eighth of a mile left to go. Show me you got him time. This is the plan. And Cover Bridge has got him. Cover Bridge on the outside comes home to win the Camlock Classic. All set for the Anker's Trot for $300,000. First leg of Trotting's Triple Crown. Off and trotting, leaving down the center. Ari Ferrari J leaving alertly as well as Trepper Craze. And Devilish Hill is three wide into the initial turn. Make it a break was Crown. Crown is off stride around the first turn. So as they make their way into the back stretch, it is Trapper Craze doing battle with Ari Ferrari J who will find a seat in the pocket as they move into the back stretch. Up your Deo came away in a third. Next is Devilish Hill from in fourth. Kierkegaard K came away cleanly in fifth. It's a length and three quarters back. Back to Toledo's action and way back to the distant trailer crown as they're at the quarter at 28 seconds flat. Into the far turn they go for the first time. Chapper Craze up by a length and a quarter over Ari Ferrari J in second. Up your Deo yet to make a move from in third. Then comes Devilish Hill from in fourth. Kierkegaard K races in fifth with Toledo's action and crown continues to trail. Chapper Craze leads them by the stands up by two and a half lengths over Ari Ferrari J who's gap from in second half top of the board 57 and two up your deo down towards the inside is third Kierkegaard K tried to flush out some cover as they head into the clubhouse turn now Sponsted comes to the outside off stride is Kierkegaard K Kierkegaard K made a break in stride so as they move into the back stretch Chapper Craze has the lead up your Deo is challenging on the outside with Ari Ferrari J pinning at the pylons while third. Second over fourth for Devilish Hill. Then comes Tilio's action. Three quarters, 125 and three. Back up to the far turn. Chapper Craze has led since the word go is up by a length. Up your Deo on the outside continues to forge forward. Then comes Ari Ferrari J. From there is Devilish Hill as they come to the top of the stretch. Chapper Craze turns with the lead. Here comes up your Deo trying to close just like like last week, up your Deo on the outside is riding this train to the Hambletonian. He wins by three quarters of a length over Chapper Craze. Then came Ari Ferrari J, 153 and three. Lock in Varart springs three wide, 121 and four for three quarters. And here comes Lock in Varar and Lauren Tritton charging after Leonidas. This is the plan, needs somewhere to go. The 2021 Milstein Memorial, Charlie May has a chance. He's just two lengths behind. Top of the stretch, Leonidas, Lock in Varart and Charlie May. This is the plan, dives down low. Lock in Varart or Charlie May, Lock in Varart, history. Lauren Tritton, the first female to win the 37th Battle of Lake Erie. Three quarters in 122 and one turning for home and it's confederate on that lead leads a length pressure on the outside came from lion surfing off the pocket trip storm along came up flat off cover now comes ants marching they're in deep stretch and it's still confederate on top by two and a half and now three confederate pours it on late and it's confederate who just cruises to win this final pepsi north america cup elimination by two and a half lengths grace hill she's got the racetrack she leads to three quarters she's over there in 121 and one outside Kobe's GG already holding up the white flag pocket sitter is silver label treacherous dragon in the far outside not tonight she came up flat three quarters in 21 and one and Grace Hill is packing Grace Hill's up front by two back into second silver label Kobe's GG and so much more it is Grace Hill a monster performance in the roses are red as she wins by two and a half lengths in 147 and four a stakes track and Canadian record mile for Grace Hill. And they're off. This is the plan. And tattoo artist uh, blasting off on the far outside. Lock and bar art leaves hard. So does Ruthless Hanover on the inside. It's those three into the first turn. Then it's Luz Perlman who cuts the corner in fifth position. A buck of bed Hanover going up sixth. Then working on a mystery seventh on the inside. Followed by red right hand and backstreet shadow. And then it's another masterpiece. And after a tardy beginning, Billy Clyde trails opening quarter. How about that? 25 and two. Bang. It's Tattoo Artist who takes the lead. Tattoo Artist settles down. Ruthless Hanover regains with that give and go move. 
It's this is the plan tightening in from third now. Lock and bar art is fourth and decision time coming up. A buck of bad Hanover uncovered fifth on the outside. Stride for stride with Lose Perlman. And then it's red right hand on the outside. Stride for stride with working on a mystery. And then it's another masterpiece on the inside with Backstreet, Shadow, and Billy Clyde. Half 52 and four. Dazzling. Ruthless Hanover in front by two now and going well with three. It's to go and he's trying to give them the slip. Tattoo artist left in his wake second. Uncovered lock and bar art on the outside, stalled third. This is the plan with no racing room in fourth. And second over, a buck of Ben Hanover has to come three wide right now. But Ruthless Hanover turning on the Jets in front by three, three quarters, one, 19 and four. Wow, they turn for home into the stretch. Ruthless Hanover and Tietrich by five. A buck up at Hanover gets going late on the outside. And full out is Tattoo Artist. The others for minor spoils. Ruthless Hanover going for it all here. It's Ruthless Hanover and the clock in the Dave Brower Memorial. And then it's a buck up at Hanover. 146 and four. Ruthless Hanover. 124 and one into the stretch. Mombasita, Walner, Payton on the outside. Special Ways charging late. In between them, Blonde Bombshell. And now Special Way is unleashed. It's Special Way, Nakas Fonstead right behind, drawing clear. Late trot from Secret Bolo into second. Special Way, Special Way does it. And then Secret Bolo. Walner, Payton, and Mombasita in a sharp 151 and four. Sylvia Hanover and Twin B Joe Fresh. Two killers going at each other here at the top of the stretch. Sylvia Hanover to three quarters in 121 and three. 26 and three speed there. Twin B Joe Fresh comes at her on the outside. It's Sylvia Hanover on top of length and a half. Dunn ducks for cover as Sylvia Hanover. She is out of this world. Sylvia Hanover paces away to a four length lead in deep stretch and there's no catching her. Sylvia Hanover to win the fan Hanover and she wins it in 148 and 2 ties the stakes track and Canadian record and they're off and trotting fashion schooners out fast and Jiggy Jog shoots out engages her with Bella Bellini from the inside makes it three across the track into the first turn war we Xenia taking a seat in fourth followed by raised by Lindy and eternal Lee Jiggy Jog right to the top there and going on a break was Warwi Xenia. She broke on the first turn. Fashion Schooner, last year's Hamble Tony Noakes champion, taking over with Tietrick just past the opening quarter. Fashion Schooner is 25 to 1, 28 and 1, a soft opening quarter for Fashion Schooner. Clear by two across the back stretch. So Jiggy Jog goes back to the top on the outside. A give and go move from Aki Svonsted. So it's Bella Bellini looking to tighten in from third and raised by Lindy is fourth, followed by Eternal Lee and way back the first turn breaker, Warwizenia back trotting at the half. Jiggy Jog is a big one to five favorite here. Jiggy Jog by a length and a half and hits the half in 56 and four, 28 three rating in the second quarter. Fashion Schooner second onto the far turn. Bella Bellini tracking from third and she takes a peek to the outside, looks to be fed racetrack, raised by Lindy, looking to follow her from fourth. Eternal Lee is fifth, heading to three quarters. Jiggy jog by a tight length. Fashion Schooner right on the helmet, and here comes Bella Bellini on the outside who gets the word from Dexter Dunn. Bella Bellini now to hook up with Jiggy Jog in the marquee matchup. Stride for stride past three quarters in 125 into the stretch. Jiggy Jog and Bella Bellini giving her all she can handle. As a raise by Lindy is uh, flashing some late trot in fashion. Schooner on the inside. J.K. Jog counters and quickens. Bella Bellini on the outside, pouring it on. But it's Jiggy Jog prevailing. Jiggy Jog holds off Bella Bellini in the six pack. Then fashion schooner and raised by Lindy in 151. They're into the stretch, and it sits my show on that lead. Pressure on the outside comes now from Fulton. Inside, Save America, Confederate cut loose off cover. They're in deep stretch, and it's it's my show. Here's Confederate with a relentless rally from the backfield. Confederate comes after it's my show. It's my show's almost there. A late push from Confederate. It's my show wins the big show in 147 and four, the Pepsi North America Cup, and it goes to an impressive score here tonight for It's My Show.